Forest Service will lead the country in marking International Day for the Conservation of the Mangrove Ecosystem on Friday, 26 July 2019 in Vanga, Kuala County. Mangroves are versatile ecosystems located in tropical estuaries, providing habitats to numerous amphibious and marine species, serving essential functions to surrounding communities and preserving the environment and biodiversity. They contribute to the stability of coastlines, protecting coral reefs, and preventing erosion from waves and storms. Their complex root system traps sediment, slow water flow, and store coastal blue carbon from the atmosphere and ocean, mitigating the effects of climate change and extreme weather events. Because of the critical role of mangrove ecosystems and their continued destruction, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in the year 2015, declared the 26th of July as the International Day for the Conservation of the Mangrove Ecosystem. Kenya Forest Service will mark this day by launching the Forest Management Agreement for Vanga Mangrove Ecosystem in a ceremony to be officiated by Chief Conservator of Forest, Mr. Julius Kamau. The Kenya's coastline stretches more than 500 kilometers. The beautiful landscape is normally breathtaking from the sky. This is due to conservation of mangrove by communities living along the coast, especially Vanga in Kuala County. Mangrove right now we are at about 60,000 hectares along the coastline. Those are in the five counties of the coastline. And uh, it may not seem to be so big, but it's very strategic and it has a very, very critical role to play. And especially because the, uh, the coastline is very susceptible to impacts of climate change, including the sea level rise and changes. Eh? And therefore, the lifeline of the coast people actually is hedged on how well we conserve um, the mangroves. For years, communities here have depended on the mangrove for building wood and beekeeping. Communities living in Vanga in Kuala County have been in the forefront to restore the degraded area to boost forest cover. Kenya Forest Service is currently working with community forest associations to prepare management plans for the mangrove resources. Mangrove acts as a breeding area for fish, a home for small fishes that hide from predators and also act as a buffer for ocean water to save the coastline. The community here and they understand, the Vanga, the Jimbo and Kiwegu, they understand that if they don't conserve these ecosystems, the fisheries which actually form about 80% of the economy of this area will collapse. And therefore we must appreciate and understand that they are conserving for themselves, first of all before anyone else. And therefore with that understanding that they have, the government and Kenya Forest Service, through this partnership, is just ensuring that we are now doing all these activities in a more guided way. We don't want people to plant trees basically because they are providing carbon credit. We want them to plant them because they know it is their livelihood. It's about the fisheries, it's about clean water, it's about them getting wood product for their houses, for their firewood. That is the basic core principle why the community must conserve these ecosystems. There are nine mangrove species along Kenya's coastline and in the local language Swahili, they are Mchu, Mkanda, Mkoko, Mkifi, Mlilana, Mkomafi, among others. Mangroves are known for their ability to absorb carbon compared to terrestrial forests. You know, we have focused so much as a country on terrestrial forest. Very little has been done about the blue carbon. Yet in terms of climate change mitigation, in terms of the capacity, capacity to sequester uh, greenhouse uh, gases. Okay, uh, and one mangrove has the ten times, ten times. So you plant one, it's equal to ten, ten, uh, ten uh, terrestrial forest right? uh, trees. And we're just developing, finalizing our policy on um, uh, sustainable utilization. Wanton destruction of mangrove forest over the years was contributed by ignorance poverty, unemployment, and lack of awareness of the importance 
of mangrove. To even channel our resources in a very specific and targeted approach to be able to change the story along the coastline. We have to conserve this ecosystem. It's very critical. And because we have to have the link between the green economy, which is held by the, the forest, the terrestrial forest in the inland or on, in the upcountry, if we don't also conserve the green resources, which are the, the for, mountainous forests, also the mangrove and the blue economy will be affected. So this is an opportunity to draw the nexus between the, the green economy and the blue economy and how they can work together in, in balance to be able to support our communities in terms of livelihood, to be able to support the economic agenda and especially the big four and also to be able to actually provide goods and services that are critical, critical for this country. However, the government ban on logging in the year 2018 came as a relief to the endangered precious tree. It is in this light that on 26 July 2019, Kenya Forest Service will be celebrating Mangrove Day under the theme Mangrove Action Day. This will create awareness among communities on the need to conserve the mangrove forest for a better environment. It is a new dawn for mangrove conservation.